Hey guys, welcome to another edition in our CSEC math exam past paper questions and solutions. Now, this question was taken from the May 2011 and it's question 7 and it, it falls under the topic of statistics on the syllabus. Now to be more specific today we'll be drawing a cumulative frequency or some persons may call it or know it as the ogive or some persons pronounce it as ogive. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, today I'm feeling a bit in the blues. I think I'm catching the common cold so just bear with me a bit. Okay guys, thanks. Now, in this question, it states the table below shows the distribution of the masses of 100 packages. Now, in my first column to the left, I have the masses in kilogram and the second column I have the number of packages and the third column I have the cumulative frequency. Now in, in part A of question 7 they're asking us to copy and complete the table to show the cumulative frequency for the distribution and that's an easy two marks in the exam. So so let's look at how we how we go about this now. Uh, no, note um, in the exam they may give you an answer booklet to fill out. You, you may not have to draw the entire uh, table so if, if you don't see your answer booklet, um, you could always ask the examiner or the invigilator for that. Okay, now quickly let's look at how we deal with this. Now, when filling out a cumulative frequency, uh, the column, um, what you're going to do, the, the, if you notice, the first number that is in my second column here, the 12 in the number of packages column, what, what you do, you just take over that number okay that's what we do so if you notice there's a 12 there so the second number in the second column the number of packages column you're going to now add add it to the first up top in the cumulative frequency column so the 28 you're going to add it to the 12 hence we get our 40 okay now you're just you're just continuing that sequence so what I'm gonna do I'm going to take my 30 now and I'm going to add it to my 40 okay so I'm adding plus so what I'm gonna say here I'm going to say 30 plus my 40 would be equal to 70 Okay, so that's what we're doing. Now you're just continuing the sequence. I'm taking my 22 here and then I'm adding it to my 70 up there. Okay, because remember 70 would be, would be in this column now. So I'm saying 22 plus my 70, this 70 up top. Okay, and that would be equal to 92. Okay, and then now I'm going to take my 8 and I'm going to add it to my 92. So I'm going to say 8 plus 92 and that would be equal to 100. Okay, so it's that easy guys. That's how we fill out a cumulative frequency column. Okay, bye-bye.